It's time to mind your business with me, Jamila Lodge. Tune in to find out how to mind your business with BEDC, special guest entrepreneurs, industry experts, and more. Brought to you by BEDC. Bermuda business starts here. Welcome to Mind Your Business. Thank I, you. I am Jamila Lodge. Of course, we know each other. Um, but I'm so thrilled to have you here with us. We're going to talk about your business ventures, multiple business ventures. So A.B. Wilson Consulting and A.B. Wilson Photography. Yes, indeed. Um, so Adaranka Batamosi Wilson. Mm -hmm. um, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself before we get started with the questions? Well, Jamila, as you've indicated, I'm a consultant and I am a photographer. I my consulting business I help organizations um, through their change processes using facilitation techniques and internal communications okay. and I've been in communications for many years <laughs> look we like we're, we're not going to date ourselves but 30 and I can always say 30 and 30 plus years yeah. and I can't believe it's been that long and my photography I'm an, an abstract photographer, mm -hmm. and I've been um, using photography to really define and shape how I see the world. Mm -hmm. And my photography tends to be abstract. And when I look around, I look at things and say, I wonder what that will look like through the lens of my camera. Mm -hmm. And I will take the image. And when I'm finished with it, it may not look like anything mm -hmm. like the image that I took. Interesting. And, and so that's that's how I help to redefine um, space and and just um, objects around me mm -hmm. um, with my camera. So have you always been passionate about photography? Like where did that come from? I remember in my late teens, early 20s, I was curious about photography, and uh, it was the time of film mm -hmm. photography. And I remember my uncle, he gave me an old camera of his. He was an avid photographer, an avid traveler. And so he gave me an old camera, and I used it. I used it. I took it to college with mm -hmm. me, and I took one or two um, photography classes at the time, mainly how to develop black and white imagery. Mm -hmm. And then I put it aside for a while. But when I look back on pictures of myself, I always see myself with a camera. I, and I didn't realize how that much I, yeah, how, yeah, how yeah. I've carried a camera no matter what. Mm -hmm. And then the digital era came into being. And that's when I really started exploring photography again. It was easier, it was faster, mm -hmm. cheaper. Mm -hmm. um, to The cameras were more expensive, but the processing was far cheaper. And then I could manipulate images that's, myself. Right. And so I would say I got really focused again on photography about 2011. A friend okay. of mine um, invited me just out of the blue to go out and take pictures with her. And I had a little, one of those little digital, tiny little cameras at the time. So we were wandering around. I think we were at Cooper's Island. And I remember feeling extremely frustrated with the camera that I had because mm -hmm. it was just a little point and shoot, but right. it wasn't picking up what I needed What you see, to. right, right, right. And so um, that was in the summer. And later on that summer, my husband and I um, traveled. And I was like, I'm going to find a camera. And I got a really good entry-level um, digital camera. Mm -hmm. And it just changed. It changed my perspective. I got to travel later on that year um, to Nigeria with my brothers. Okay. And I hadn't really taking the time to learn the camera. And so I was trying to take pictures and they weren't coming out. So once I got back home, I sat down, I got the manual out mm -hmm. and I taught myself. You actually read the manual? Yep, I read the manual. You wanted those, look, you wanted those people. <laughs> Listen, I can't, when I see the words start coming no, together. No, I read the manual. Okay. I had to learn how to use the camera. And I also looked online, um, Found a few YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. So between the manual and the YouTube videos, I learned. I t I taught myself that camera. Then I did some online classes, and I found this amazing photographer in Singapore okay. um, through a friend of mine who mm -hmm. lived in Singapore at the time. She had done a class with him, and I did an online class. And the way he taught it, and the students that were in the class, who were physically in Singapore with him 
their photography was so amazing and it gave me a completely different perspective on how they saw imagery. Mm. And fortunate again, I happened to go to Singapore that year mm -hmm. and just as the class was ending and I went to one of the last classes in person mm -hmm. and they had um, a photographer from Kuala Lumpur mm -hmm. come in to give a lecture and I had seen his work I want to say in the New York Times, mm -hmm. or one, um, a, a really major uh, um, publication. And he was surprised that I knew who he was. Right. And I was surprised. Like, <laughs> it, it was just... everybody else didn't. He's like, y'all don't know who he is. He's famous. <laughs> and, and he's a street photographer. Okay. And the type of photography, all black and white, that he took. Mm -hmm. And these experiences that I've had along the way have really help to shape how I see imagery right. and the possibility. And so while I may not be a street photographer, I take pictures um, while I'm on the street. Right. I take pictures while I'm in an office building, while I'm in a shop. Mm -hmm. And if I don't have my camera with me, I take out my phone. It's and I will take some pictures and um, I will be able to manipulate them um, later on on my computer. Mm -hmm. And actually, earlier on today, before I came here, I was uh, I had a few minutes, so I, I was in a store Take your pictures. Uh, taking pictures. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it makes sense to me that you would start a business around photography. Um, now, you mentioned that you have been 30 years plus in the communications game. So explain to me how, like, did you, did you ever envision yourself being an entrepreneur? Like with that many years in communications, working for organizations and people, what was it always your plan to eventually work for yourself? So the answer is no. Okay. But yes. Okay. So back in 2005, I, um, actually in 2004, I had had a major tragedy in mm -hmm. my life. Mm -hmm. And so I took some time off. And then in 2005, uh, my, my brother and I were talking um, at a family dinner, and he asked me what I was doing. And I'm like, oh, not too much. He said, we should start a business together. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, let's talk. So we sat down and talked and looked at our strengths, and more importantly for me, looked at what I like doing. Mm -hmm. And we put, we listed it, and we looked at the paper, and we said, can we make a business out of these strengths? Mm -hmm. and, and, and the things that we like. And we said, yes, let's try it. And so we formed the Stratford Group. Yes, that was in I remember 2000, that. Yes. <laughs> actually, 2006 is when we actually started it. Yeah. And we had a lot of fun. It was an amazing experience. And together, we were able to create an organization that provided services to, um, to companies. Mm -hmm. So then um, in 2015, um, there wasn't a lot of business for mm -hmm. us, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Things had gotten really, really slow. And so we had to make some really tough decisions. And one of them was to get a job, right? right? To get to <laughs> to get a job, a more formal job. Right. And because, you know, I liked where I lived, because I liked eating, mm -hmm. I had to go get another job. <laughs> and I was really fortunate um, to land a really great job with the government, mm -hmm. working at um, government's Department of Communications with some amazing communications professionals. And I was with government for six and a half years. I left and went to the private sector. Mm -hmm. And then I had to, there, there was a crossroads. Mm. And because it didn't work out the way I had anticipated, mm -hmm. I decided I need to take some time off. Mm -hmm. I really just need to assess what I need to do and how I need to do it. Mm -hmm. And so I packed up my camera, and with the absolute amazing support of my husband, mm -hmm. I went to Southeast Asia for three months. What? When I left, <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be for three months. Yeah. I just knew, and this is a story I tell, I left um, Bermuda with a one-way ticket to Bangkok. I just knew I wanted to go back to Bangkok and take pictures. Mm -hmm. And so that led me on an amazing journey I did um, 
I think I did four countries, about 10 cities Wow! in that time, mm-hmm. taking pictures. That's all I did. I just took pictures and took stock mm-hmm. of what I needed to do next. Mm-hmm. And I remember I was on a mountaintop early in the morning in, um, in Indonesia. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting there. I was meditating. And there were two questions I asked myself. The first is, what was the happiest time in your life? Mm-hmm. And the answer was, what was the happiest time in your professional, professional life? life? And the answer was when I was consulting. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm going back to consulting. Mm -hmm. And the second question I asked myself is, are you ready to go home? And the answer was yes. Okay. So I came home with a plan to start my own business. And I did. Mm -hmm. And automatically, I went back to consulting. Mm -hmm. Automatically, it was like, yes, I'm going to be a communications consultant. Let me see what I can do. But it evolved over time. Mm -hmm. This whole, I started in January, I, exactly, January the 9th, 2023 okay. is the day I started A.B. Wilson Consulting. Mm-hmm. And with that, I said to myself, I also need to do more work with my photography. Mm-hmm. I have thousands of uh, pictures. I can imagine. You were in <laughs> Asia for three months, ma'am. And all, I, and all I did was walk around taking pictures. Right. And so I had thousands of pictures, and I, I thought to myself, how can I get my art into more people's hands? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I said, oh, I can create a calendar. Uh, I have 12 months mm-hmm. to get 12 pictures out. And so I started developing um, the concept of a calendar, and I went out, I did some research, a friend of mine whose mother loves calendars, she went to her mom's house, mm-hmm. took her mom's calendars, and um, brought them to me. So I laid them all out in my home office, and I just looked at them. Mm-hmm. I looked to see what I liked about mm-hmm. them. I looked to see how the person that developed the camera, um, the calendar, laid it out, mm-hmm. what images they, they used. And it was great to be able to see them all laid out mm-hmm. all at one time gave the the calendars back. And so I started thinking about how do I break through that? Right. In Bermuda, all you have to do is look around. There are some amazing artists who Mm -hmm. have amazing work. You are correct. And so I had to be able to differentiate my calendar Mm -hmm. from all of the other amazing. You have one here, right? I I do. Let's see. And (laughs) I'll talk you through this. (laughs) And so what I did was, okay, so I've got great photography in here. Um, So I started saying to myself, okay, so maybe I'll have a theme a month. Right. Right? So the calendar. And it's called Let's Spend the Year Together. Let's Spend the Year Together. Okay. Um, 2024 calendar. So it starts in December. So that's one differentiator. Right. right? You get an extra month in there. uh, And so it starts December the 1st, 2024. Three. Okay. 2023, this right. year. This year. Right. And it goes through to January 2025. Okay. So it's a 14-month yes. calendar. So that's one differentiator. Then I put a theme for each month. Nice. And so I thought I'll write about those themes, mm-hmm. but I can't put the writing into the calendar. Because it'll take because up it'll space. Take, right. Mm-hmm. Or be very small. Mm-hmm. So then... I said, I'll put a QR code. Mm -hmm. So if you scan the QR code, it takes you to my blog on my A.B. Wilson Photography website where I talk about that month's theme. In addition to that, I thought, wouldn't it be cool to be able to somehow marry my consulting and what I do um, using appreciative inquiry techniques Mm -hmm. with that month's theme? Mm -hmm. So I started looking around to see how I can do that. And um, different people that I met along the way that are experts in these areas right. have said, yes, they will join me on the first Thursday of every month mm-hmm. to um, participate in these interactive discussions nice. around that month's theme. Right. So uh, each month, so the first one is December the 7th. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is a Thursday. Yeah. 7.30 Bermuda time, 6.30 U.S. Um, Eastern Standard Time. Mm-hmm. And I've made it so that anybody, no matter where they are in the world, can participate. And many of my 
what I'm calling subject matter professionals or 3C um, guides, mm -hmm. gathering guides. There, there, there are many of them aren't in Bermuda. Mm -hmm. So I've been able to find people in different parts yeah. of the world who are experts. And so it's a 90 minute yeah. um, interactive uh, gathering. And the three C stands for conversation, connection, community. And that's what I want to build with the calendar. I love this. And we'll, we get to have appreciative inquiry type questions mm -hmm. as and and conversations mm -hmm. as part of the three C gathering uh, meetings. Nice. That I, that's very um, impressive. Like you got the little tech built into, yes. and I'm looking at the the photos. Like I I get why you say they're abstract. So it's of stuff, but it's focusing on very specific items. Like this month, August 2024 is beauty, and it's a picture of a purple wall with. You know the the paint, paint chipped off. the paint chipped off. So there's beauty in everything, mm -hmm. right? It's just how you see it and how you look at it. Exactly, exactly. And um, September is adventure, mm -hmm. adventurous, and it's a picture of an old door, right, uh, with an old handle. Mm -hmm. And what's behind? What's it? behind the door? <laughs> so and you'll get to have these conversations with people yes. that you have source yes from all over the world who are experts in and that that's really really cool i think that's really great and it'll make a great gift right oh absolutely they are great gifts um they're on sale right now at believe it or not at, at the airport okay airport gifts uh gift shop which uh, makes sense people leave and take a little piece of Bermuda and, with them. um if they've forgotten the gift for somebody there they you can, go um pick it up but it's also at brown and co Oh, nice. And I've been doing signings, okay. um, calendar signings. And so, um, Jamila, what I've done is really treated my calendar as a book. Mm -hmm. I had a co cover unveiling. I'm doing signings. Okay. And, and it's just an opportunity to further differentiate this calendar from, from any other calendar. And added value mm -hmm. to the calendar. So December, um, December's gathering, 3C gathering, is is free. Mm -hmm. um, there will be a charge, and I I don't know what that will be because many of the people that will be giving of their time mm -hmm. uh, each month, mm -hmm. they're professionals as right. well. They spent many hours learning, learning. their craft. Yep. and I want to pay have them. You. As have I, and I want to <laughs> pay them. Right. And so, in order to pay them, I will. There will be a charge. Mm -hmm for each month's um, gathering after December. Right, but I, I like how you married the two things that you're great at, which I think is inspiring for those who may be considering entrepreneurship, because some people they're like, what do I, I know I don't wanna work for anybody mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. Like they may not get a chance to travel for three months <laughs> to do the soul searching to come to that conclusion. But some people really are like, but what is it that I do? I have a friend, a very close friend back home, and we have this conversation all the time. She knows she has an entrepreneurial outlook on life. Like she wants to do something, but what is that something? Um, and so I think it's great that you have been able to take your expertise and mm -hmm. communication and your passion, which is photography, and kind of merge it into this product that you'd have now. And so people get the best of both worlds. Can you talk about how your experience in communications and your love for photography has kind of guided your entrepreneurial journey and the decisions that you make for your business? So it's not something that happened overnight. Yeah. Right? Um, coming up with the calendar concept, it took several months. Mm -hmm. Well, I came up with the calendar idea, but the layers that I added to mm -hmm. it, that took time. Mm -hmm. And so I gave myself from maybe February, March, when I said I'm going to do a calendar for the rest of the year to really let it sink in. Mm -hmm. And so the way, because I have communications experience mm -hmm. and I've been able to use that and how I market the calendar, mm -hmm. how I um, how I see it fitting into people's lives. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning, the front the front page, the inside front cover, mm -hmm. I've explained how the calendar works. Mm -hmm. And that's because I want people to know and understand. Mm -hmm. And then I wrote an introduction. 
it's like a a book. To a book, yeah, right? right. And I've treated it like a book, and it and maybe at some point I will write a book, but it's thinking differently mm -hmm. and thinking using my communication skills to then communicate and share how the calendar works with people. And that's the main point, because it's not just your standard calendar. Right. There are many layers to it. And and helping to share that concept. And as far as I can tell, Jamila, it's a unique concept, right? I, have, I think so. I no. haven't seen anything. Usually you get the calendar. Like one of them, I know one of the more popular calendars are the calendars that BF&M does yes. every year. Like yes. literally my yes. mom is like, where's my calendar? Because yes. of the pictures and yes. the photography. It's not so much about the dates. It's more about the photography and seeing the beauty that is Bermuda. So don't have no extra <laughs> <laughs> sessions or access to blogs or anything mm -hmm. like that in it. Um, so that piece, I do think, is very innovative. And and I've talked to a lot of people um, throughout this journey yes. about it. Mm -hmm. And nobody has said to me, uh, oh, yeah, somebody, I know somebody else Who's that's done, done something. That? Yeah. And so that, that for me is, is really rewarding mm -hmm. because have I created something that nobody else has done? I <laughs> like... Like that is it's like are, they, are people still doing that? Like I thought all of the thoughts were thought. I thought all of the ingenuity, but it's that's it's, really interesting. Yeah, and but it's really just marrying my skills. Yeah, it's my photography on one hand and communications together with my love for appreciative inquiry, mm -hmm. asking overwhelmingly positive questions to get overwhelmingly positive and long-lasting change. Mm -hmm. And that's the work that I do. That's the work that I do with clients, mm -hmm. in addition to the communication support that I provide. Mm -hmm. And long-term, that's what I, I want to do. I want to do a lot more corporate work around the facilitation, around helping organizations to thrive mm -hmm. through change processes using the skills that I have. That's what I was going to ask you. Like, who... Who are your ideal clients? Like, who would benefit most from what you offer? Um, any organization that has a team. Okay. Um, where you have people that come together and have to be able to move forward together through any change. And a change can be as simple as their leader mm -hmm. um, going to another position within the company. Your, your team has changed. Mm -hmm. So how do you ensure the cohesion of that team? If, you're, if you need to put in a new system, how are you as an organization making sure that those systems um, are, are understood throughout the organization? Mm -hmm. And it could be a system of, it could be an um, IT system, mm -hmm. but it could be how you're doing business system. Mm -hmm. And what we do know is that in many instances when an organization wants to do an overhaul or develop something different, mm -hmm. oftentimes it stops at the managers. Because if the managers don't know and understand what that change is and how it um, is going to impact them and their team, mm -hmm. uh, they would in some instances say, no, no, it's not going to work for it's us. Not work. Can't do it. And, and so therefore the change will stop there. Yeah. And so helping, first of all, managers to understand that, um, what the change means for them, but also helping people to have a voice right. in the change. Many organizations say, we're going to make this change. It's going to be good just, for us. Yeah, it's just do it. But in many instances, if we can get the voices of those who are going to be impacted by the change mm -hmm. uh, to be a part of the change decision mm -hmm. and the change process, it, the change gets adopted a lot faster. And that's the work that I'm doing. Okay. That's the work that I'm helping organizations with, together with internal communications. Mm -hmm. Because when you have a change process, you've got to be able to communicate that. Mm -hmm. You've got to go through the change. Um, and through, in my case, through facilitation. And then how do you keep people engaged right. during, during that, that process? So I provide internal communication support as well for change um, within organizations. Okay. 
Well, listen, I think it's needed. It definitely is needed um, because change, that's one constant, right? Mm -hmm. Change. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And really, I think it's how you deal with it, like as an organization, as a team, as individuals. And so all of that has an impact on adoption of whatever that change is. So having someone to help kind of guide you through that process is an ideal scenario. I want to talk a little bit more about you and your entrepreneurial journey and Along this road, I would imagine challenges happen, right? (laughs) You know, you have an idea about what you want to do, how you want to do it. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about maybe some of the challenges or the biggest challenge that you face coming to the realization that you you were most happiest when you were consulting and how you're going to put this photography piece in it. What was probably the biggest challenge that you had to overcome and what what was the process of of that? How'd you go through that? So... The biggest challenge on both sides, the consulting side and the photography side, mm-hmm. um, was putting myself out there. And mm-hmm. I know that that You're like you and communicate. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's easier to for a client to so to, and I'm and I'm really trying to find the right words okay. to explain it. When I work with clients, mm-hmm. most of the time you don't see me. Right. You don't hear my voice. True. You don't. You don't hear my name. Right. Nothing. That's in my mind a good communications consultant. Mm-hmm. You're not seen. You let the client shine. Yes. Starting the business, I had to put myself out yes. there. I had to. Because re- you are now your <laughs> client exactly. or the boss, right? Right. And so I had to show up mm-hmm. as myself. Mm-hmm. And um, and make sure that I said the right thing at the right time mm-hmm. publicly. Yes, it's one thing meeting one on one with a client, but now like doing interviews, um, making sure that I was ready mm-hmm. to be go public. Mm-hmm. And so, and it was in both instances. Excuse me. <clears throat> so. Um, with the calendar, I was ready to publish it, to actually go to print, probably about August. Okay. But I stalled. Because then I got nervous. I got What? Re- yes. I got what really were you nervous about? Because it's my art. Yes. It's, 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 it's a part of me. Yes. And, and, and being, being vulnerable to, to criticism, mm-hmm. you know, it's... It, People are going to be, nah, I don't like that picture. Like and so it was like, wow. I remember <clears throat> the first day I had a signing, and this lady said to me, oh, can I see your, can I see your calendar? I said, yes. And she said, um, you got the wrong picture on the cover. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> I said, well, what do you think should be the cover? And she said this, the back. Oh. Because the back is colorful. Right. It's all of the images that are in the calendar. Right. So I said to myself, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that guidance. So when I display the calendar, uh-huh. I, display, I display the front and the back. Right. Right? Because right. I felt that was, that was valuable information. Yes. But I had to hear it, right? The and first thing she it. said was, oh, you have the wrong picture. I was like, oh. And be like, this is not your business. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I need you to mind your business, okay? <laughs> so it's that. Yeah. But I one of the things that um, I really try to do is hair. Yeah. Right? Because there may be some there may be some value. If it's an opinion, it's an opinion. Right. right. And I will hear it and um and maybe think about it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is there something that I can use in that opinion? Mm-hmm. And I think that's like your communications experience, right? Because we hear stuff all the time that we, you really want to <laughs> say, mind your business. <laughs> but you know you can't, <laughs> at least not in that context. Mm-hmm. So I get it. So I would imagine having to receive that, especially for something that's so personal and close to you, you're like, that's my baby now. I say something else. You know what I mean? Say something. I'm, I'm not violent, but <laughs> we may have to go there. So it's like, how do you like navigate that? Yes. Right? And so that communication skill. So you're like, remember, focus. Okay. <laughs> yes. You know, receive that and then take from it 
what you need. So now when you display, I you display, display both. Yeah. And, and, and it does attract attention. And I may not have thought about the back. That, when, yeah. I may yeah. not have thought about it, but it was a good, it was a good lesson for me to, it was good guidance. Yes. That, um, that I heard. Mm -hmm. And so, so it's me. It's, yes. it's, it, to answer your question, it's getting past what's inside of me that would normally stop me to mm -hmm. sort of like say, no, I need to you take it. To. I need to Push take a breath, yeah. take a deep breath and make the next step. Mm -hmm. And I think for a lot of people, it's, it's, it's that. Mm -hmm. It's like, how will it be received? Will I make any sales? Um, I'm gonna spend the money and- uh, Am I gonna I get, get my return on my investment? How long is it going to take me to get my return on my investment? And, and what do I need to do to help people understand it? Because yes. it's not just a calendar. Exactly. And so it, it's all, it was all of that. Mm -hmm. And just being able to let it sit with me. And it took me about six weeks, maybe eight, for it to sit with me. And, and, and then you just had and, to. And then I had two friends who were like, I'm going to need you to go ahead and <laughs> get it done. Just get it done. And so you appreciate those that are around you, yeah. right? That will just give you that push. Kick Sometimes in the ankles. you need to do that. Yeah. Because, like, remember, uh, ma'am, you work for yourself now. Yes. So you said you like eating. Yes. You know, obviously you like traveling. So we're going to need you to go ahead and launch that. Yes. <laughs> and, and so taking a deep breath and moving forward. Yeah. And, um, but. Also, making sure that you love it. Yeah. Make sure that you absolutely I love it. I think it makes all the difference when you do, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that it must be very gratifying to see your vision and all your hard work actually come to fruition, right? This is, <clears throat> you've produced this beautiful calendar, um, which allows you to, to include both pieces of yourself yes. that make up who you are, which I think is phenomenal. Can you believe we, it's been 30 minutes. Okay, wow. Well. <laughs> it's amazing, right, how fast the time, the time goes, especially when you're enjoying the conversation. Mm -hmm. But before we wrap up, I would like for you to just share how we can get the calendar. Yes. And, and what else do you see on the horizon for AB Consultant and AB Wilson Photography? So um, you can go to my website, mm -hmm. abwilsonphotography.com, and um, you'll find the form. You'll find lots of information mm -hmm. about the calendar. Uh, if people are interested in actually buying the images, mm -hmm. I will be putting them online oh, so great. that they can be for sale. Yeah. Um, in my home office, I have the cover. Mm -hmm. I have the cover um, blown up. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's behind me when I'm sitting at my desk. So if you're on Zoom with me, you'll be able to see it. And um, so people can buy the images. They can buy the calendar. There's an order form on my website, mm -hmm. and I fill in the form, and I will get the calendar to you. Okay. The calendars are $25. Okay. Um, they're also on sale at Brown & Co. They're, also, uh, they're on sale at the airport gift shop. And I'm doing a lot of signings. So once I... If somebody orders a calendar, I send out information. Um, actually, if you want to, if you want to be on my mailing list, I have a newsletter. I send out um, information on where I'm going to be mm -hmm. at any given time um, in the upcoming week, so people can find where the calendar will be on sale. Perfect. Now I'm <laughs> going to ask you this. I know we're out of time, and I'm probably going to get in trouble for this, but I need to know the picture on the cover. Yes. Why did you choose the picture on the cover? Because I know, it, I remember it was strength. Yes, it, yes, yes. So yes. I want you to tell me. It had, to, I had to pick one. It was a process of elimination. Okay. And it was almost like, you know, picking your favorite child. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> you know, we have them, right? Shh, shh, all those parents out there. I know you have them. <laughs> and, and while I don't have any children, you know, it's like, do I pick my favorite godchild? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so <clears throat> this one, the and I've been asked many mm -hmm. times, well, what is it? Yeah. And, and, and that's what, for me, is the beauty of my photography. I ask people, so what do you see? So the first thing I saw... I, I, in my mind, I was like, is it a piece of, like, metal or um, some kind of connector that makes something work? 
Um, and then looking at it, I'm like, is it a wall, right, that's holding something up? Um, so those are my two that I'm I'm going to go with. But whatever it is, it, strength, right? That's yes. what you're talking about. So whatever it is, it's, it's needed to make whatever um, it is work or to stay up or to stay erect. So <laughs> the image... I'm not going to tell you what it is. Oh, man. I'm not going to <laughs> Only because I want people to f- see what they see in it. Right. And and I think that goes for... There are some images yeah. that are you very can, obvious. Yes, yes. Right? Yeah. Even though the word itself is solitude. Yeah. So I'm looking at June yeah. 2024. Oh. There are some that are absolutely obvious. Right. And then there are others. You ask, well, what is it? Yes. That's the beauty. Mm-hmm. It is whatever you see it to be. And it's art, right? And, and they say art. art is subjective. And so you see in the imagery what speaks to you. Mm-hmm. And, and so you chose that one for the cover and because... And so I chose this, this one because I love it. I love it. I remember where I was when I took the picture. Mm-hmm. I remember when I took the picture, I was thinking to myself, I wonder what else I can do with it. Mm -hmm. Because it wasn't by itself. Right. But when I isolated it, that's the image I came up with. Mm -hmm. And blue is one of my favorite colors. Mm -hmm. And and I think it, by itself, shows strength. Right. And I wanted the calendar to convey that level of strength. Yes. And and attraction. And, And it was different enough that... And it pulls people in. Mm-hmm. And people, hopefully, will pick it up and say, well, what, what is, is this? What is that? What's she trying to tell me? What's she trying to say? Yeah. And there's one other thing that I really want to add mm-hmm. is the graphic the designer, mm-hmm. the graphic designer that I worked with. She was amazing. Um, I outlined that I was creating a calendar. Mm-hmm. I outlined what I wanted to convey. And she took my minimal direction and created the look of the calendar okay. for me. And I had so few changes mm-hmm. that went back to That's her. That's great. And I, when and, you can have that connection, right? Yes. It makes it so much and, easier. And the designer is Anna Dill. Okay. I want to, as, as SJD Shout World. Out to, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Those are our peoples. We know them. <laughs> and Wonderful. So it so it it was it was a really um and I saw her recently mm-hmm. um in town and we just we we just really appreciated working mm-hmm. with each other. Um the other people that I really want to thank are those that bought the calendar unseen. Mm-hmm. Like, had no idea. Pre-ordered, that Pre- sort of thing. Yes. Because they trusted you and in your process and your creativity. Well, we know what she does, so. And that was that was so gratifying. Mm. And for people to say, yes, I'll buy a calendar. Yeah. And then pay. And then pay the yes. money <laughs> for something that they have not seen. Yeah. A concept that was brand new, that is brand new. Um, so I really do want to thank um, those people and everybody that said yes to being a part of this journey with me. Um, there's a couple in the U.S. who, from the very beginning, worked with me on the calendar. Mm-hmm. Um, and those are um, the Thompson, so hopefully they're watching. <laughs> and um, I, I have deep appreciation for them and the fact that they understood my vision mm-hmm. and came along for the ride. On the journey. Love that. And um, we're really just giving off their time. Mm-hmm. My husband, Mark, uh, what can I say? I know. <laughs> <laughs> you went to the age for three months. <laughs> uh, he, he's, just, he's, just, he's just supportive. And um, we celebrated our 18th wedding anniversary on November the 26th. Oh, happy anniversary! <laughs> <laughs> so, but but and and then people, it my takes, friends, you yes, need your you, you need your tribe or my your friends village who or, have yeah. helped yeah. one way or another, right? And family members who have helped one way or the no- other to just keep nudging me forward, just keep so like saying keep going, keep going yeah. in their own special way. So it, it has, and this is one quote mm-hmm. that I always say: start your journey, and you'll meet the people that will help you. Mm. I believe that. Yeah. I, I believe that even if it's somebody saying. You've got the wrong cover. Right. 
and help you me have, to see things you, you differently. You have to see it differently. Sometimes you need that. And and so you will get people that will come into your life that will say, oh yeah, I know somebody that can. Yes. Or I will help you with this small piece. Right. And that's the small piece that you needed. I was in a, a conference in October and I was in a little work group and I said to the little work group, I need a printer. Mm-hmm. I need a U.S. printer. The Bermuda calendars. So I did two printers, yeah. one in Bermuda and one in the U.S. Right. I needed a U.S. printer that did distribution. Mm-hmm. And the guy that was sitting next to me said, oh, I, I got a printer. About, see, that's I got a you, printer. That's what you got to do. And I was like, and he gave me the contact. Yeah. And that is the printer that I use uh, to print in the U.S. because it was easier, faster, and of cheaper course. to distribute in the U.S. To and the, to other places yes. than to print in Bermuda and, and distribute, distribute outside, outside of Bermuda, of Bermuda. Yeah. which makes perfect sense. Yes. Listen, I am so pleased that you came and shared a little bit of your journey. Now I know more about the calendar. I have to put my order in because uh, uh, I didn't... How, how, many, how many did four. you say? Oh. I'll, bring, <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring them back to you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I would like four. Um, But thank you so much for minding your business with me today. Um, I think that what you're doing is awesome. I wish more people can get to a point where they can take their entrepreneurial journey actually doing the things that they love and are passionate about. It's obvious when you see the calendar. It's obvious when you talk about it. Um, So I just wish you continued success. Um, and, and yeah, we'll see you back when you give us an update on the next one. Yes. Okay. And, and I've already started working on the 2025 calendar, Perfect. so I'll be ready. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Jamila. You're <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Mind Your Business with me, your host, Jamila Lodge. Tune in next week, Thursday at 4 p.m. Because if you don't mind your business, who will? Mind Your Business is brought to you by BEDC. Bermuda business starts here.